and you may be watching this video after the Mayweather Pacquiao fight you may be watching it before the Mayweather Pacquiao fight and my goal is to not date this video so it could be as relevant um, for as long as possible so I'm not gonna do any predictions and I'm not going to do any recap so that's not what this video is about I'm not gonna tell you when the <laughs> what date I make I made this video but you could probably figure it out so it pretty much doesn't matter what I want to get into is when exactly did we start talking about the Mayweather Pacquiao fight I'm not gonna try to take credit for it in any way I just want to investigate the history of it everyone on mainstream media is saying that we've been um, talking about the fight for about five years maybe a little bit more than five years but even the fighters are approximating five years. Let's go back. Let's do some math. Five years ago was around 2010, 2009. Okay, we can work with that. Here on boxing scene, there is a thread, just some horrible um, signatures and avatars here. <laughs> but this is a thread from 2009, pretty much 2010. This was December 30th, 2009. And this topic is basically about the the drug testing, uh, the cutoff days, and and pretty much the USADA. And you know, we're not gonna get into the specifics of that, but the date is 2009. I remember this thread because uh, this you know people on boxing scene they like to pick on each other, tease each other. So there were some points here made about uh, the fight getting signed and, you know, testing clean and the lawsuit and even some uh, fight predictions. Then uh, there was this one poster who just kept saying crazy stuff. He replied to one of my posts saying, your future is plan. If you like your money to stay home, safer if you don't bet on your plan. Yes, good idea for you. No. And I wasn't proud and still not proud of my response to that. I said, uh, are you a retarded fortune cookie? And I apologize for it, uh, if that has offended anyone in any way. But I don't think it's reached enough uh, people or even members on boxing scene. But um, to this day, I feel bad for saying that. So let's go on with the point of this video, the history of this fight, or the making of this fight. Okay, this is from 2007. 2007. Mayweather versus Pacquiao equals mad money. I mean, I was like in my mid-20s when I was posting, so maybe I, I talked crazy back then. I guess that's how I, you know... I spoke um, on boxing scene, but maybe I was just also trying to fit in. But I promise you, that's not how I speak uh, on a daily basis. So I just I made a poll. Um, the first uh, prediction was no one will buy if they fought, and the second was only if it's on Showtime pay per view. Okay, only if it's on Showtime pay per view. And then the third was only if it's on HBO pay-per-view and hyped by 24-7. Okay, and then the fourth was we'll make more than Golden Boy versus Pretty Boy. And I got some uh, responses from that. Um, this is kind of an abstract poll slash survey that I did. Let's see what I wrote. With the fan base picking up, Pac-Man and PBF regarded as number one, tailed by Manny. At number two on the pound for pound list, can this fight rake in more money than Oscar De La Hoya versus Pretty Boy Floyd? So that's what it was about, pretty much. I was trying to compare it to the money uh, made from Floyd Mayweather and Oscar fight. And yeah, this is in 2007. How many years ago is that? 2007. That's like eight years ago maybe more than yeah eight years ago but let's go back further into history in 1947 I'm just kidding it was in 2006 the summer of 2006 I posted who has the faster hands 
PBF, Pretty Boy Floyd, or Manny Pacquiao. Pretty Boy Floyd is not any bigger than Morales as far as height and reach. Um, I don't know what I was trying to make, say there. I'm thinking, I think I was trying to bring up, yeah, the Pacquiao Mayweather fight then because Morales and Mayweather shared the same height and even similar reach. And I was trying to see what everyone else thought about it. Um, this guy said Mayweather Pacquiao doesn't have the speed when he gets inside the ring. Mayweather by far, it's not even close. And I said BS, it's closer than y'all think. And then this guy said, it really isn't. Oh my gosh. This guy says Floyd May Mayweather. This guy says, this is called hateration and bitterness, but it's all cool. I think Mayweather's faster, plus he also throws shorter punches. Mayweather is the faster fisted fighter. This guy says, my friend Pacquiao has just as fast or faster hands as Mayweather when they don't have the gloves on. When they have the gloves on, Pacquiao ain't uh, concentrating on speed but power. So he slows down because he tightens his fists and muscles. Mayweather, on the other hand, is trying for speed and not power. He's more relaxed, and I think, unlike Pacquiao, makes a fist just before he makes contact, as you suppose, so you, you don't lose speed. To These guys are professionals. They understand this concept of clenching your fist and your muscles tightening up. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. This is 2006. I'm going to keep saying this is 2006, but I have to remind myself not to get heated about it because it's a long time ago. This guy says Pack is slower. Mayweather throws his shots short and rips behind him. Pack tends to throw longer shots. All right. This guy says Pack speeds overrated. This guy says go to YouTube and find a video where Pacquiao is shadows of boxing. He's got some fast hands. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to find out if. People were saying that this fight was a rid ridiculous idea. I remember having conversations on here about it. But this was basically about hand speed. Alright guys, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Got a bunch of stuff to do. Alright, peace out.